Well, red light cameras were the topic of a public hearing at City Hall today, and once they're installed at intersections, they take pictures of vehicles that run red lights, and then tickets are issued to the owners of the vehicles. There is no shortage of controversy surrounding the idea, though, and that was borne out at the meeting, according to Channel 2's Dave McKinley, who is getting answers on how things would work. Dave? Adam, after a recent spate of serious hit and runs, University District Common Councilman Rashid Wyatt says he was compelled to push the idea for the city to invest in these cameras, he says, for safety's sake. Not too many of the approximately 50 people at the public hearing saw it that way, though. We already live in a police state. Oh, and they were just getting warmed up. I'm an outraged citizen of this city that is not going to take this kind of nonsense anymore. According to a representative of an industry firm, cities generally lease the cameras for about $4,000 a month per unit. It would then be up to the city to issue the citations and collect the revenue to pay for them. To me, it is it's just a money grab. Uh, it's an extra tax on the city, on the people of the city. And Ted Shred's morning radio show partner Tom Reagan raised the thought that the cameras might deter visitors from coming to Buffalo to experience its growing number of attractions. If I live in Williamsville, Cheektowaga, Amherst, you know, any of these other ring cities, and I get my first red light camera ticket, you can bet I'm going to think twice about coming to the city of Buffalo. Not everyone was opposed. Marie Lyons of the Western New York American Council of the Blind here spoke in favor, as did another woman who says her son was seriously injured by a hit-and-run driver. We've got to do something. Even the cops had questions. Would we have access? Would we be able to check them? Why, yes, sir, you could, and more, according to the company rep, who says they can even be used to catch speeders, even scan license plates for other purposes. We have an amber alert setting, so if you were to have an abduction or you were to have some kind of a robbery or anything where you had a partial plate number, then they would be looking for that license plate and alert whoever entered that immediately that it passed that location. Going into this, you indicated that you were generally in favor of this. Yes. Have you changed your mind as a result of what you've heard? Well, I'm still in favor of it, but at the end of the day, I really have to listen to the residents. And are you saying now that you won't push this any further? No, I'm, I still want to push it forward um, to see maybe if we can have a limited number of cameras. Wyatt stressed, though, that the purpose of the hearing was just to explore the idea, an opportunity to raise questions and get answers, and that no actual legislation nor any requests for proposals have been proffered. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.